There's no such thing as small acts of courage because each act of courage you take increases your capacity for more and more greater acts of courage. Have you ever wanted to live more courageously, more honestly, more authentically, but sometimes find yourself retreating back into that smaller version of yourself? Welcome to Wild Impact, and it is time to awaken your wild side. My name is Isaac Kaufman, and in this episode, we're going to be taking a practical look at the symbolism of the lion. We'll be focusing on a few of the lion's signature symbolic traits. Traits such as living with courage, what that looks like, and all of the ways that courage can be expressed in our daily lives. Living authentically, speaking your truth, protecting your kingdom. And we'll get into more detail of what your kingdom is in just a couple minutes. And then we'll quickly talk about when, why, and how to activate and incorporate those attributes into our daily lives. And it's these very attributes which exist within all of us. And we want to recognize when we need them to call them forward when we need them. And at the end of this video, I'm going to provide you with a quick guide, an easy meditation to help you activate and embody those traits into your daily life. So diving into it here, we recognize our inner lion and you can screenshot this and save it for later. The symbol of master of self ruling over our own thoughts and emotions and actions, releasing the need to be in charge of the world and of others. The symbolism of courage, bravery, strength, guarding my territory, protecting my kingdom. The symbol of the roar, speaker of truth with full lungs and clear intentions. You don't need to be standing victorious on a battlefield with your shield and sword in hand in order to demonstrate or even qualify as courage. Courage is getting out of bed the moment your alarm clock goes off. Courage is initiating that difficult conversation with that loved one or with a coworker that perhaps you've been avoiding. Courage is letting someone know that you're in need of help. Our lives are filled with dozens of seemingly insignificant moments, but these moments are the precious opportunities that we can choose to act with strength and courage rather than our all too often default mode of avoidance. Courage is simply doing what you need to do right now despite the resistance you feel. Courage is speaking your truth right now despite the resistance. Courage is living authentically right now, despite the resistance. There are no small acts of courage because each small act of courage that you take increases your capacity for more and more greater acts of courage. It strengthens your confidence, which makes you more capable and more likely to take more and more major acts of courage. Having the courage to wake up earlier than you want to in order to get in that early morning workout before you head into work, that increases your capacity for more courage. And imagine, where can that lead? Maybe that could eventually lead to you having the courage to perhaps start your own business or begin that new project that you've been wanting to do forever. Having the courage to speak up for yourself among your friends and coworkers will eventually lead to you having the courage to initiate that difficult conversation that you've been wanting to have with your loved one or a family member, perhaps that you've been avoiding for too long. Every act feeds the next act. Lastly, protect your kingdom. There's no greater territory worth protecting and defending and nurturing more than the kingdom of our minds. It is only when our minds are clear, intentional, and aligned with our higher selves, our true intentions, is when we can be at our best to fully take care of the rest of our kingdoms, our bodies, our spirits, our loved ones, our domains, our workplace and home life. Every disempowering belief and thought we have is a hungry hyena trying to overtake and conquer your land protect your kingdom, fend off unwanted threats. How? Well, you've heard it a hundred times before, but I'm hoping that this resonates with you. By feeding yourself empowering thoughts, by feeding yourself empowering food, empowering beliefs, empowering habits, all of which will nurture 
and strengthen you, enabling you to defend and expand your kingdom even more. We can practice a meditation just to scan and clear the landscapes of our minds. We can practice affirmations to get it in our body, to strengthen our beliefs and elevate our thinking. We can exercise, we can eat healthy to strengthen the kingdom of our bodies. We can observe and engage with our loved ones to ensure that everything is in place and that everyone feels loved and safe. This takes courage, and courage is pure and simply honoring yourself, strengthening yourself, and defending and protecting what's yours and what's important to you, and doing so by any means necessary. You have the voice, you have the strength, you have the courage. The spirit of the lion lives within you. Call it forward when you need it. Is the spirit of the lion resonating with you? Tap that like button below if there's value here for you. And do you know someone who exemplifies courage? Tag that person, share this with them, and let them know that they've inspired you to live more courageously. I got multiple pieces of content and episodes that I'll be posting every week, so be sure to follow, subscribe with notifications so that you can get your daily dose of nature and inspiration. And here's that meditation guide that I promised you to help you summon and embody that courage from within you. Till next time, stay wild.